This is a conversation starter for you. Uh, is the serotonin theory of depression wrong? Uh, to access this umbrella systematic review, there's a QR code. It'll take you to the downloaded PDF. And um, it, when I was in my private practice, if I had to pick one drug, I thought, oh, this thing is magic. I would have picked an SSRI or Prozac. And uh, now after looking at a lot of research in this area, I think we are giving our focus to the wrong thing. Maybe it's your caring uh, consideration in helping someone move through their suffering that is the me main influence of their positive outcome. So, who knows? Talk about it. But this study um, uh, summarizes some key areas or some findings that makes you wonder. Uh, they show that plasma levels of serotonin have limited correlation with depression. There was not a difference between those who were depressed and non-depressed uh, individuals. When serotonin production was destroyed through a toxic chemical in animal studies, the animals did not get depressed. And some studies correlated depression with uh, high levels of serotonin instead of low levels of serotonin. And uh, there's actually a drug um, in Europe that actually um, lowers serotonin for depression. <laughs> so, so the authors concluded that the, after the review of the evidence, uh, the serotonin hypothesis of depression is not empirically substantiated. So what do you think? Uh, talk amongst yourselves. What's the real power in influencing health and positive outcomes in someone who's going through a difficult time?